Well, hello again, friends. Miss Mary here in my backyard. If you saw the video about my homemade selfie stick, you know that I was looking forward to taking you to my garden. There's something I wanted to share with you today, and I thought my garden could help us understand it a little better. My garden is over this way. Come along with me. Okay, here we are in my garden. Hey, I want to show you a picture of what this garden looked like last year. It was beautiful, wasn't it? On the first warm days of this year, I came out to my garden to see what was going on and I noticed lots of little sprouts coming up and I thought, uh-oh, some of those are weeds. I thought, I should probably take care of those weeds, but I didn't. I just went about my business because it was a sunny day. About a week later, I went to my garden again and those sprouts that were coming up were getting bigger and I knew they were weeds, but the sun was shining. So I decided, eh, I'll leave them. I'll come back and get them. And I left them. A few more weeks went by and I came back out into my garden and I was quite surprised because those weeds had gotten a whole lot bigger. You would have thought I would have taken care of those weeds then, but I didn't. And now this is what I have on my hands. Did you see them all? Weeds. Miss Mary's garden is full of weeds. And that's what I want to talk to you about. I noticed right here in this patch, there's a couple of different kinds of weeds. You see the ones here with the white flowers? They have seeds on them too. This is bad. I have let these weeds go so long they've gone to seed. And when those seeds fall down on the ground, we'll get more. There's another kind of weed right here. The big, really nasty weeds. Can you see this one here? This is a really tricky weed. It has a deep root. And I'm gonna have to dig down deep to get that one out. You might be asking yourself, why is Miss Mary talking about weeds? Well, this is the thing, guys. Sin is kind of like these weeds. Sometimes they start out real small, like we hardly notice them. We make a decision we know is wrong, but it's not a biggie. Nobody knows. It's all right. And we let it go, and we haven't taken care of it. And next thing you know, we have more. And it gets easier. And then we find ourselves doing another one. And we think, that's a little one. It's not a big deal. And we go on our way. And before we know it, we've got more and more sin in our life those sins we think are just little sins are kind of like oh, these little little plants here that come up real easy but then there's other sin that if we haven't taken care of we have to go a little deeper it's a little tougher to get them out but then there's those really really tough ones the ones I was telling you about the, the ones that are really tricky they're really big and they are very deep we tried to hide them we don't want anybody to know. And those, those sins, we have to dig down really deep. It's not, they don't come up easy. You have to get right to the root of it. So you gotta dig down, dig down, and down till you get to the root. If you don't get the whole root out, that root, that weed's just gonna come back, or that sin is just gonna come back because we haven't dealt with it. We haven't taken it to the Lord and asked him for forgiveness. See the size of the root there? We got that whole root out, so that weed will not come back. Why do you think we struggle confessing our sins? Why do you think we have a hard time going to God and saying, I'm sorry for the things I've done? This morning I was reminded of a psalm that David wrote about his own struggle with sin. It was Psalm 32. He's talking about his struggle, it, that he had refused to admit to God, to confess to God his own rebellion. He'd been holding that, and he was refusing. At the beginning of Psalm 32, David talks about his struggle with sin. And then in verse 5, he says, Finally, I confess my sins to you, and I stop trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, 
I will confess to the Lord my rebellion. And he must have done that because he goes on. And then he wrote, And you forgave me, and all my guilt is gone. Isn't that amazing? We have a God who forgives. We can take all things to him. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Our God is good and he forgives us. We have to do the work of taking our sins to him. We need to go to him. We need to confess to him. And he is good. He forgives us and we get right with God. Let's not wait until our sin gets big. Let's go straight to God when we find ourselves in a position of disobedience. Let's run to our Father and say, Lord, forgive me. I am sorry. And then we can receive that forgiveness that he gives so freely. Thanks for joining me in my garden. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.